Hey guys, this is Nelly Kovac and I received a package today by Donna Downey for Find Out Fridays and I almost forgot that it is my month actually so I was indeed surprised to find this package and I was like oh yeah 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 this is it this must be it so um, this package is unopened yet no kidding I have not opened it yet so I'm supposed to open the open it in front of the camera and that's what I'm gonna do and record my reaction so I really hope it's good <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me get this open and not kill myself with those scissors while I'm doing that on camera. This is probably the weirdest way to open a package. Let me see. This is not very smart, but okay. Ugh. I'm telling you, those uh, USPS is, this is my reaction, guys. There you go. USPS is not kidding when they uh, and they have a seal for their packages. Okay, I see wonderful, wonderful in my favorite color. Uh, um, teal tissue paper. This is all mine. I love teal. Okay, what else? Ooh, yeah, baby. This is a, one of my favorite colors, actually. I have this, and it's Heavy Body, Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paint in Bright Aqua Green. Love that color, and I do love Heavy Body Paint because it's awesome for texture. And it fits to my tissue paper. <laughs> and what else do we got? Okay, this is... Actually, I always wanted to try those. Um... A crink permanent paint stick, uh, highest quality inks and markers. Let me put that into the camera. I do not have any of those. I saw those before, and I always wanted to try those. So cool. Okay, and then what else did I get? I got a very cool stamp. This looks like a Donner stamp. I love it. Uh, very cool. Okay, nice. And um, here is um, what I should do, do, which I should have probably read before, but how can I do that when I have to film my reaction for you guys, right? And then wait, there's more. Okay, a wooden palette. Now that's cool. I don't like this. It's by a company called Art Alternatives. Um, very cool. So, a palette, paint, crink. Hmm. Now I have to think about it, what I can do with all that stuff. Woohoo! I love a good challenge. So, see you later with the other video where I'm show you what I make out of all this. So I usually uh, paint in my art journal or on canvas, so this is going to be interesting to do this on this um, painter's palette. But, you know, it's a challenge, it's going to be fun, and it's wood, and that's cool. Love a new surface. So to break the ice a little bit and to get into the groove, I'm going to use some of my foam stems first to play on the background. Um, I'm taking a foam stem set by Art Foamies, which I design, and it's called um, Versailles. And all of the foam stems by Art Foamies come with those um, stamp buddies, which means you can um, create little paint ink pads. And this set here is a positive and negative uh, stamp of the same pattern, which means we can build up some really nice layers and a really great background. And I already picked some acrylic paints and uh, an archival ink pad. So I'm going to show you how I'm inking this up real quick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the black archival ink and decide which stamp I want to do first. And the stamp buddy. And then I'm going to ink up my um, stamp with the archival ink. So... It's not so important that I see like every single bit, bit and piece, but I should see a little bit because I need this as my guideline and you will see later in the video where to put my uh, color on the stamp body. So I ink it up 
Da, 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 da. And then I'm gonna stamp right into those stamp in this uh, stamp buddy, and I'm lining it up on the corners, which makes it easier. This one is an extra stamp buddy, which kind of has a different size. So anyway, so here's my um, stamped buddy, and the black on the stamp buddy indicates where my stamp will hit it when I use it as an ink pad or paint pad. So now I'm going to use two of those colors, uh, acrylic paints. Uh, I will refer to the colors that I'm using here in the supply list. And I'm using an old hotel key card or gift card. I never give those back. I'm sorry. Um, I, I need those, right? So I'm using this kind of Baltic, I think Baltic blue. And I'm going to put that one in the middle of that pattern. And then I'm slowly taking my credit card and just like mix it in to my stamp buddy so that it is saturated and then I do the same around um, as the outer uh, area of my stamp and then I test I test it so I can see if I need to apply some more paint here and there just to make sure that when I use the stamp I uh, ink it up or paint it up uh, everywhere so now I'm starting to apply uh, the pattern and I'm getting this like kind of tile pattern or not kind that's actually what I had in mind when I made it now I want to show you um, when I'm done what I do next is I'm going to clean the stamp buddy and I just rinse it off with some uh, water also the foam stamp and then I can still see the pattern use it with some different paint colors uh, later on so anyway my palette is now I did something to it, so I'm not so scared anymore uh, to continue. And I used something that I'm familiar with, that, and I'm a little bit lazy. So for my um, other side of the pattern, I'm just using a brayer and I just roll on one solid green color. And I'm realizing here that it's actually a little bit harder than usually to than usual to line up the stem. Um, it's a little bit offset, but I kind of like the dimension this gives. It's easier when you have a square piece of paper or rectangular piece of paper and you know where you line up your stamp. But I think it actually looks really, really cool. Besides, what now? So this has me thinking. Let me see. I want to show you how it looks like so far. Okay, now I have a patterned palette. I really have no idea where this is going. I told you this is a challenge and I'm just playing around which is oftentimes the best thing to do so I'm gonna use some Danielle Smith uh, golden acrylic it's highly pigmented it's super cool I use a little bit of water you can use up to 10% of water to thin it down a little bit and I'm going over to tone down um, and push my background more into the background so to speak and taking a baby wipe and releasing a little bit of the areas again and this I think this looks like a really cool and antique um, wallpaper design and I just love how this looks like right now and I feel it makes it more even and toned down and now I'm using <clears throat> Donner stamp so I'm using oftentimes I use rubber stems in a little bit of a different uh, way I love to use them with paint not the best thing to do. You have to be very quick with um, cleaning them afterwards. But I used a cosmetic sponge. I dab the paint on and then I'm cleaning it as fast as possible so that nothing is left over. And I get this really cool texture when I do so and some really amazing guidelines uh, which I can use to now paint with, uh, paint over. So I'm using the Heavy Body acrylic paint. Heavy Body is amazing because I love texture and into the somewhat still a little bit wet areas of my stamped image, I'm going to paint and I'm um, really loosely using my brush. So um, if there are paint bobs and blobs, that's awesome because I want the texture and the heavy body paint really helps me to keep those brush strokes and areas and get a kind of impasto effect. And heavy body is, um, you know, it's good to use it because the paint won't crack uh, once it starts drying. So that's um, that's why we use heavy body paint. And I started painting the lower bottom of the palette with um, the same green. 
that we used before for the background, but um, a little bit tinted with some white and I'm using some of it here and there also in those flowers just to pick up the, the you know, the color again and um, just to make the bottom a little bit more interesting and different from the rest of um, the uh, palette. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use the, the crink marker um, this cannot be used in wet that I found out. There's not much information about what's on here in here. I think it's oil based and so it should go pretty much last, uh, you know, go regarding the rule fat over lean. And I'm kind of very loosely use it on top of my flowers and just wherever it sticks on the stir surface, that's cool because that will add a little bit of contrast and some um, texture and dimension, visual texture. So here it is, my painted palette. Uh, as I said, very unusual to what I usually do, but I actually really enjoyed playing with it and getting a bit challenged with a different surface and some supplies, very limited. I mean, I cheated and I threw in some of my uh, supplies too, but uh, I was allowed to, so I did. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will visit me on my website, nellystudio.com. And thank you, Donner, for having me for Find Out Fridays. Bye-bye.